you are looking at the Dew Doctor floating QRS. Now we've already have our shaft installed in place, as you can see, and it's ready to receive the clutch. After the shaft is installed, we recommend to start out with three shims that will be applied to the shaft, which should put the clutch back into the stock position to where it was when you originally sent me the clutch. The reason why we run it there is that most of the sleds have to have the clutch slid away from the sled a minimal of 125 thousandths. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll add our shims. Next, we'll add our clutch. Our clutch, I'm running a Shockwave Helix and a Supreme Tool adjuster. This is what the insert looks like in the inside. You just go ahead after you put your shims on and you slide the clutch into place in the sled. After you put the clutch on, you'll put your belt on just like you normally you normally have. And you'll adjust your belt to the proper height. and you'll tighten up your adjuster. After your adjuster is snugged and ready to go, you will, you will install the floating plug with this washer on the end, the button that we call it, that'll keep the clutch from sliding off. Now you will also receive some small silver shims which will be applied between the button and the spacer if you need more float length. We recommend starting out with just the, just the plug and the button. After installing your plug, go ahead, snug your bolt, 14 foot pounds. Now if you can see on the inside here, you can see the, th the spacers on the inside, the clutch is actually sitting in the same position it was before I originally cut the shaft. You can see how much room you have out here on the end by the button. This clutch moves back and forth this much, which should be about 120 thousandths at that time. Now, how, how, we rec how we can determine how much your sled is out of alignment is we recommend pushing the clutch all the way in, starting the sled. When you, when you run the sled, you'll be able to see how much the clutch wants to move in or out. At that point, you can see that the clutch wanted to move out that much. At least, at least 80 thousandths from where it was originally. how the clutch always follows the primary. It likes to start out with itself in, then it moves out, and as the speed comes up, it'll move back in, and it'll always find its center. Right now, it seems to be fully out when we first shut it off, and that's how much we can move it in. We'll slide it out, we'll restart the sled. push it back in, we can see that that clutch wants to move in at about there, about 60,000. So it's, it's never where 
Skeety intended it, they wanted it to be. It always moves out away from the, the, the sled as far as we can tell. Uh, if there's any questions at all, you can feel free to call. It's 231-947-4599. It's Again, I'm the Dew Doctor. This is the Floating QRS.